So you're a beginner golfer and you want to know what golf clubs should I buy? We're going to get into it right here, right now. Hey guys, Tyson and Brady with Golf Ascending. Uh, today we've got a sweet video for you, but before we get into it, go ahead and click subscribe and that notification bell for all future content. So a lot of you, when you're starting to play golf, you're probably searching for the answers to what golf clubs to use for beginners, what golf club brand is best, and what golf brands do the pros use? So we wanna help you out and answer this right now. We recently had a colleague who was wanting to get into golf and he asked us that same question. Yeah, and so some of the things that he wanted to know were, what clubs do I put in my bag? Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, what clubs do I put in my bag? Um, what brands do I use? Yep. Do the clubs come with a bag? How do I buy them? Where do I get them from? And so these are the questions that we thought, you know what? We're going to tell you guys because I'm sure that some of you out there are having the same questions. Yeah. And the first thing we want to help you avoid is to buy a crappy set of golf clubs. Um, a lot of people might just want to find the cheapest one, brand new, go to your local sports store and just buy the cheapest one. But you don't necessarily want to do that. There are a lot of good brands out there. We're gonna list those off and what clubs to get. And you can get them for a lot cheaper too. We like to shop personally on eBay a lot. You could go to Craigslist. You can go to Facebook Marketplace. That's where we'd suggest some of the places to look to buy and buying used because guess what? After you hit those clubs once, they're already used. And so buying brand new isn't always the best, especially if you're starting out. So let's list off some of the clubs that you should look into buying when you are buying clubs. Cause there's a lot of them. So we'll just list them off real quick to help you to know what clubs you should search for, whether you're buying them individually or in a bag. So you can see what the list is and what should be on there. Mm -hmm. So generally when you buy clubs, um, you'll usually buy them in groups. That's the way that people will list them. So your first group, and we'll start at the top is a driver. Um, yep. Sometimes paired with a three wood. It's the big one. Yeah, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes paired with a three wood, you can sometimes, you know, buy these clubs from, you know, second second hand places. Um, but you need to buy a driver for sure. Um, a three wood, as I mentioned. And then the next grouping of clubs that you'll most likely find are an iron set. So this will be the little, uh, the bladed club. Um, and that will have numbers from like four to nine and then it'll have like a pitching wedge which is usually like a pw mm -hmm. and so there's that and then the final the final two steps i guess you have yeah. wedges and then you've got a putter you definitely need a putter now let's talk about good quality golf brands that you should look into when you're buying all those clubs we just listed all right so we're going to talk about the top four these are the big uh, big players in the game right now so we've got TaylorMade, ping callaway and Titleist. Um, these are well represented on tour. They've been around, I feel like, since the go the game has just has been around. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and because of that, they've created like really good golf clubs and their technology's gotten very good. Yep. So look for these brands. Um, like I said, they are very good quality brands. Um, kind of breaking it down a little bit, um, TaylorMade, they make woods, or sorry, drivers, fairway woods, irons, and they also make wedges, um, also putters. Yep. Um, so you can, get, you can get the whole shebang with TaylorMade. Um, ping, uh, same thing. You can get drivers, fairway woods, irons, and putters. Yep. Um, Callaway, same thing, although their putter um, is under a different alias, and it's called Odyssey, so remember that. Yeah. Callaway is Odyssey. And I use the Odyssey personally. I love the Odyssey putters and they're very well known. So when looking into putters, Odyssey would probably be one of the top ones. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last one, Titleist, they also do it all. Um, and then when it comes to putters, um, they also have putters, but they also have a different alias it's called Scotty Cameron. Um, as you'll probably know in researching Titleist, they're a little bit on the higher end of price goes and their yeah. putter is also a premium. But it is something you can trust that we would put our stamp on. Other good quality brands to look into are Cobra, which they do drivers, fairway woods, and irons. They don't tend to do putters. Um, next, we've got Mizuno. They do drivers, fairway woods, irons, and they actually do putters as well that are pretty good. 
And next up, Srixen. They're also a brand that's really known for their good quality irons. Um, next up, we've got Cleveland. Um, they're known for their wedges, but they also do irons and putters. And Nike. Nike no longer produces golf equipment, but if you could get your hands on some good used Nike golf clubs, uh, they're a good option. I've been using Nike golf clubs for a while, actually. And then the last one we want to mention here is Adams. Um, Adams actually was recently bought by TaylorMade. Um, and TaylorMade is one of those big players. And so, you know, if a big player is going to buy a company like this, they're a good brand. So I know lots of, uh, lots of my buddies, um, they play Adams and they love them. Um, but they have driver, fairway woods, irons, um, and yeah. All right, so now that we've told you which brands that we trust and that you should look for when buying your first set of clubs, um, know this, we, we don't expect you to know exactly what you want right away. This is your first set of clubs. So, you know, get them, play around with them. Um, don't fall in love with them because as you play with them, you'll understand, you know, hey, I want to try something new. I want to try this. Um, and kind of along with that, we recommend that when buying your clubs, make sure that the flex on the shaft is irregular. Um, you know, you may come to know that maybe you want a stiff or an extra stiff, but we would recommend starting with a regular. Yes, that is great advice. And also make sure to share this video with any friends that you know are wanting to get into golf. Um, this could be really helpful. Save them a lot of time, save them money, and get some pretty quality clubs. Yeah. And uh, on a last note, I would say, shop around um look around for the best deals um don't jump at something right away um like you know do the research um and you know hopefully that'll that'll lead you to a first set of clubs that hopefully will last you a long time yep and there's many stores that'll even let you test out their clubs on a simulator so try them out hey guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure and click the like button and subscribe also, click that notification bell so you can stay tuned for all of our future content. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.